What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my content. So, apparently, we have amateurs lawyer act as if they don't believe that their team lost because a person who lied under oath not only took the L, but she basically just ruined her own career. And yet, people and social media are protecting an abuser of a female. And this is one of those reasons where Amherst fans are so gross and despicable. Society has completely gotten everything backwards in terms of Amber her, her playing the victim card, claiming that the jury did not do their jobs right. And based on yesterday, they clearly did their jobs right. She mean gotten $2 million for some damages, but the rest of that, she got to pay that brother $15 million. So that means that she ain't get no money. And now you got her booty licking idiot lawyer is all of a sudden defending her as of her so-called retarded fans that are defending a person who not only tries to destroy a man's life, but to ruin his reputation. So now that he's got his career back, why can't a person like Amateur move on? Just let it go. You're done. It's finished. Let's get to the video. Decide with Johnny Depp and his defamation lawsuit is drawing both condemnation and praise. The verdict came after six weeks of very dramatic testimony from both sides. She claimed that he abused her while he said she was the abuser. In his reaction, Depp wrote, the goal of bringing the case was to reveal the truth, and that truth never perishes. Exactly. Elaine Charlson Bredehoff is the attorney for Amber Heard and is with us now. And we should mention, we did also reach out to Johnny Depp's team, but they declined to be interviewed this morning. Elaine, thank you. We're so very glad you're here. Thank you. What well, I would get the feeling that Gail King is going to probably agree with what she's saying about the verdict like she does in the past. And it's obvious to me that her lawyer is going to end up being just as worse as her, crying over the fact that Johnny Depp's team won fair and square. They came with evidence and they came with receipts. Because at the end of the day, you have no matter to blame but yourself if you're unwilling to take accountability for your own actions then you don't need to be saying anything and i feel like modern human beings refuse to accept accountability to apologize for their wrongdoing and expect us to well expect us to just be okay with it not knowing that it comes with some Heavy repercussions and consequences. And unfortunately for Emma Turk, she has to pay Johnny Depp with a lot more money after everything she put this man through. Verdict yesterday. This this seems to be a huge victory for Johnny Depp this morning. Yeah, a major setback for women. Mm -hmm. For women inside. Remember when I said that something tells me she's going to end up being just as worse as Emma Heard? She is. How is it a setback for women when Johnny Depp has given a lot of men chances and hopes of coming forward if they were to be in a domestic violence relationship? So how is that whole thing a setback? You're saying as if his team did the wrong thing by winning. You're saying that all of us should accept women's bad behavior by them hitting on men. He clearly did the right thing by, you know, suing her for defamation. And he got everything he wanted. So how is that a setback? What are you talking about, lady? Because? Because basically what this said, you know, Amber had an enormous amount of evidence, although a lot of it was suppressed in this case as opposed. That bogus evidence from the UK wasn't even that. The UK clearly hated Johnny Depp. 
because when it comes to Johnny Depp's scene, they clearly had all of the evidence that they needed. And they got it. The jury saw it. The judges, you know, saw it. Everybody on Amber Heard's side exposed her for the liar that she is. Even her own team, her own family, you know, co-stars, brand companies exposed her for every single thing. So don't sit there and tell me that she came with evidence in the court. No, she hasn't. Where's the evidence? She was acting in the court. Emotional. And the way she acted in the court, she wouldn't be acting like she was in a movie or TV show in the courtroom. Like, this is real life. This is not a movie or TV show. You're playing with somebody's life and career. You cannot do that. Look at all the women who have no evidence. Mm -hmm. All these women who suffer from domestic violence, domestic abuse, they don't have evidence. And basically what this jury said is unless you pull out your cell phone and you tape record your spouse beating you, you're out of luck. But Elaine, I think it was bigger than that because... So... If we record our partners abusing us and hitting us, we're out of line. How are we out of line if we record domestic violence situation? We want us to take the abuse because we're men. Men can't be abused. They can't be raped or molested or they can't do none of that. But society doesn't care about it. And yet you're on here with your crappy feminist logic saying that, you know, since we're recording the, you know, the whole thing, I don't understand people like her because she's not telling us anything. And Emma her is still a liar. Even after the verdict, trying about how the verdict messed up. She didn't get what she wanted. It. Well, bad news for you. You lost. Get over it. Not believe her. Mm. Why do you think they did not believe her? I think because she's a liar. A lot of that was that it was Johnny Depp. Uh, I think the Johnny Depp is the fact that she is a liar. She came with no evidence, no proof whatsoever. What are you talking about? This, this has nothing to do with Johnny Depp. This is a person that ruined a man's life over a lot. And you want to come out your mouth with saying that this is all because of, you know, Johnny Depp because he's a celebrity. Where are you getting at? Who? And, and it's but, not only exactly. A, yeah, but she but she's a celebrity, too. Right. But you have to remember, it's a tale of two trials. All the evidence came in in the UK. Mr. Deb brought that one. The burden of proof was on the son in, in the UK. That was not a real case. The son in the UK messed that up. That was not a real case. Clearly, Johnny Depp had all of the evidence. Did you not see what happened in the honeymoon when they got married? Even when Emma Heard was arrested for domestic violence. And she clearly has a history of it. Cannot forget about that. So when Johnny Depp lost in the UK under a so-called source that was wrong on everything. So I don't know what is she trying to get at. Because based on what she's telling us is that the UK, she won in the UK, which means that she should be the one talking about the experience of domestic violence. That's like you throwing us under the bus, you throwing us in the back burner as if we do not matter in society. This woman right here is proving to us that she does not get it and she cannot accept defeat or take accountability for your so-called person's actions. Because this is literally the reason why Johnny Depp won. Because your team came with nothing. No receipts, no evidence, no proof, none of that. Come on now. About the domestic violence. He had his opportunity to tell the truth then. Um, 
and a three-week trial, he lost. It's the different. judge found 12 yeah. acts of domestic violence, including sexual violence. It was a lot because he did not abuse Emma Her. She was the one that initiated the whole thing. She flat out admitted in the recordings that no money is going to believe you. And guess what? Everybody believed Johnny. They found him innocent and he won. So I don't know what people in the UK were smoking on. I don't know if they were high or drunk, but they clearly did not see Johnny Depp's side. They did not hear Johnny Depp's side of the story. So what is she talking about here? Because now I'm getting fed up. About November 2, 2020. We weren't allowed to tell the jury that. Well, it's a different system, and the judge, it wasn't a jury, it was a judge. judge the judge uh, said it was substantially yeah. true, uh, and that's, that is significant, and I think surprised a lot of legal analysts. But, you know, in this case, the jury not only didn't believe Amber Heard, but in ruling that she acted with actual malice, that means she had the intent to cause harm, right? That's a pretty high standard to have proven. And it's pretty amazing since the op-ed never even mentioned Mr. Depp. You have to remember that. What they learned from the U.K. case is to demonize Amber, which is what they did, and to try to suppress as much of the evidence that came in in the U.K. and did not come in in the United no. States. But the other problem is no. we had cameras in the courtroom. So here we had... If they had a case in the U.K., you can bet you they're going to probably have cameras inside a courtroom. And I can only imagine the UK is going to probably side with Depp on this part again. And she's coming out saying that she's going to plan to sue Depp once again. Whatever happened to accepting defeat, just accept the fact that you lost. Let it go. It is not that hard to do. And yet somehow her team is making ridiculous statements on TV. You're protecting the abuser. Have you lost your freaking minds? A group of Depp fans that were there every day, a hundred were allowed in. They of course they're there. They o'clock in the morning for their wristbands to be in that courtroom. But we had everything on camera and we- You had nothing. Your team had nothing. What are you talking about? You said that his team and the fans are the reason why Amber Heard lost. No, she lost because she had no evidence on her whatsoever. Stop trying to protect the abuser, lady. You're... Man, I can't even get into this right now. Every time I hear this woman talk, I feel like I'm not getting anything. All I'm getting is Amber Heard is innocent this. Amber Heard is innocent that. The jury is wrong. And woe is me, all that bull crap. Just get over it. Seriously, get over it. Very, very, very much against Amber. Very it was demonized. pointed out that that was the first time that a victim of sexual abuse had to testify on live television. Exactly. And I fought hard and lost that battle. So, I, it should not have What happened. did you expect then? I am, I am a former NFL player. And after a hard loss, it's easy to wake up and point to the other side. Oftentimes, I realized the better thing to do was to look in the mirror. What mistakes did I make as a player? What mistakes did our coaching staff make? And then how can mm. we improve from there? It's obvious to me that her team and this prick of a woman right here is talking. She doesn't get it. Nobody on Amber her side doesn't understand. And I like what he said that if you know you did something wrong, look yourself in the mirror and... Think about how you can improve as a human being. It is not that hard to do. We're all humans. We make mistakes, you know, but we can bound to try it again. But I highly doubt that Emma Her is going to try it again. I highly doubt that she's going to continue to make false allegations and claims and continue to lie under oath and continue to be a liar that she is. And if you look at the Jesse Smollett situation, I was the guy lied about being attacked in a Chicago bar or whatever, and he paid these people money to stage the whole thing. So he staged it. And what did he do? He got rewarded with bad behavior by being released from jail. And now he stopped the doing whatever it is, which I can care less. And this is what you call rewarding bad behaviors and since Emma Heard lost yesterday she got rewarded with nothing nothing but zeros 
So she's flat out broke. So, like I said, shout out to the brother right here when he says that, you know, being a person, a, 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 an NFL player, a football player, or the coaching staff, figure out what went wrong and try to improve. Which, unfortunately, this lawyer of Amber Heard's, she doesn't get the memo. None of her people do. None of them do. I feel like Amber made a mistake while she was on the stand because you're saying it's the celebrity, it's Johnny, it's the, it's the people who support him. Right, or being like a celebrity you, is not an excuse. Well, and, and that's an excellent question. And to say, and you know, Amber even said on the stand, I am not perfect. I am a human being. These people were giving. Look, I can agree that, you know, sending death threats to a celebrity is one of the worst things you could do. Like, I get it. But when you're a person that started the whole thing, domestic violence and relationship against Johnny Depp for six to seven years, what exactly did you think was going to happen? Did you expect people to give you praise, to give you sympathy? Because what? You're a female that you admitted to the whole world that you physically attacked a celebrity, a man. And you made him out to be a monster. But no, you're the one that made yourself to be a monster. You did it to yourself. Microwave her baby. This is the kind of social media she was getting. So are any of us perfect? No. Is there something else we feel we should have done? Yes, I, I, absolutely. I, I always, I redo my closings a hundred times afterwards, whether I win or lose. Um, that so why can't you admit that your client lost? You lost. Why can't you move on? Let it go. Being a good lawyer, a good trial lawyer, is right. there's always something. But I think that there were a lot of influences here that were beyond our control. And I think the social media, it, it was like a Roman Colosseum. Roman Colosseum. Is, is the best way to describe the atmosphere here. And I have to believe that the jury, even though they're told not to oh, go and boy. look at anything, we had, you know, they have weekends, they have families, they have yeah, they were not media. sequestered. They were not sequestered. And, and, and the ten you know, day period we had, how could they not have been influenced? But Elaine, for most people what you, watching this trial, a lot of and now she's she's basically saying that they were influenced by Johnny Depp's scene. When the jury makes the you know the decision, it's their decision. It has nothing to do with Johnny Depp. It has nothing to do with Emma Her. It's just to see who was right and who was in the wrong. You're saying that it's the jury's fault that your client lost and you lost. Sounds like to me you just a bitter old woman that can't take it out. Views. It just seemed to be a, it seemed to be so messy and salacious and so tawdry on both sides, on both sides. And I think exactly. for the, a lot of people from the outside <clears throat> looking in thought both of them were not telling the truth. That's what they say. Johnny was telling the truth about the whole thing. Amber was just acting. That's all she was, just acting. She wasn't being real. She wasn't being genuine. She wasn't being serious. She was just acting on TV, putting up a front for the whole world to see. Johnny had to testify everything, court dates, evidence, videos, footage, recordings, photos, among others. And like I said before, people exposed Amber, her, her former friends, roommates, neighbors, co-stars, the brand companies. And I want to say something too before I continue on with this video. I was watching one video yesterday that really pissed me off. When somebody said that it's not a win-win for everybody. Yes, it is. Johnny Depp won the whole thing. He walked away with $15 million. Because the man has been through hell. To try to get his reputation fixed. The man has been, in, been through crap for six or seven years. Dealing with this bra. I hate when people say that it's not a win-win. Yes, it is. Are you dumb enough to not realize that Johnny Depp won? He fought hard. His team, his lawyers, Camille, she was the one that fought really hard for Johnny Depp. The team clearly had all kinds of weapons with them, evidence and proof. 
And so when it comes to that, Johnny Depp was innocent. You know what I'm saying? And, but the only thing he was guilty of is being a drug and alcohol addict, which he got clean. Like, not people realize that some celebrities do do drugs on hard times. So what? What, you're going to use that against him and determine that he should lose? Well, may I remind you that Johnny Depp has been clean? I don't know how long he's been clean, but he seems to be about to get his life back together now that he's got his name cleared. So what are you talking about all this nonsense? ...used each other. Do you not believe that that was the case? No, and, and that's one of the many... Of course you don't, because she's... The way that Depp's team approached oh, this was oh, based on ignorance of domestic violence. It, they, it completely ignored the cycle of violence and just said, oh, she wouldn't have done this if he had been hitting her. That was their approach. So you thought that they weren't fighting fair? Correct. I, I don't think... There you have it. She just said that the team wasn't fighting fair, which she is so... Do you see, this is the one thing that really confused me about modern females. is that they have these type of mindsets to be so confused and dumb and not realize that their team lost. That they, just, like, they don't even think that a man cannot go through domestic violence against a female because he can't sue her for defamation he cannot hit her back because she's a female and the fact that she's saying that his team did not fight fair yes they did because you try to come out here with some ridiculous evidence that did not make any sense your whole team lied so what's the point fess up lady and you think absolutely. Amber Heard is, in fact, a survivor of domestic violence? Yes, I, I absolutely... She is not the survivor of domestic violence. She did it to herself. <clears throat> she was the one that was arrested and accused of domestic violence. That was all on her. What are you talking about? She is not a survivor of domestic violence. Johnny Depp is the survivor of... The true survivor of domestic violence. Because did you not hear his testimony? I mean, his testimony in the beginning of the trial when he said that all of his trauma came from his childhood. That his mother was abusive, among others. And then when Amory came into his life, she was the one that started to go, oh, since you're giant Deb, I'm going to end up abusing you too. And look what happened. This is the person... That makes me want to fly across space and fight off demons that are trying to tell me otherwise. That think they believe their own truth that Emma Her is the survivor of domestic abuse. She is not. All right. She is not. Of evidence, much of which did not come into this trial, did come into the UK trial. We even had more evidence. We had medical. But did you show on TV? So you claim that you have all the evidence in the UK that wasn't being brought on, you know, that wasn't being broadcast on TV. But here in Virginia, since it's being broadcast on TV, y'all had no evidence. Y'all did not have no evidence in America. And I think the UK did all this because I believe that they hate Johnny Depp because he's a man. He cannot, you know, get abused by, you know, by a female. So that right there should tell you something of how society has gotten everything completely backwards. Contemporaneous. We had text messages from Mr. Depp's assistant saying, when I told... He was kind of guilty on that part too. But at least he admitted his wrong. Why can't Emma Her do the same? I don't see her on stance admitting her wrongs or taking accountability. He had to do all of that on the stance. Because as men... We've always had to be the one to take accountability for our actions. Why can't females take accountability for their own actions? They can't even do that. 
My point exactly. That he had kicked you, yeah. he cried. So how that is she today, in. Elaine? How is she today? She's what is, what is her next move? She's right. Well, her next move is appeal. There were but a she's number. Heartbroken. She, she is heartbroken. And one of the first things that she said when she came back from the verdict, when we went into the conference room, was, "I am so sorry to all these women." That she said that. Yes, she felt like what? she had let down. You're sorry for all these women. Why can't you be sorry for Johnny Depp? For all the men that you've been abusing? What is she talking about? You're sorry for all of these females. Ever. You cannot protect these females. Your fans, these Amber her Twitter accounts, they cannot protect you anymore. These feminists cannot protect you anymore. Why are you sorry for these females? You act like they're the ones lost. You know, I, 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 I don't get it. She's a liar. She's lying once again. And yet this prick over here believes it. Yet they still didn't believe her. And you know what? They shouldn't believe her because she's a pathological liar. Just like any other liars that we come across in life. When you catch them in a lie, what do they do? They lie. They try to make up some excuse. And this person over here, she's no better. She basically just proved to us that, that when you're a female, you can get away with everything. This lady is not making any sense. She's not telling us anything other than, woe is me, woe is me. Emma her is crying. She's upset that she lost and you're on TV lying for her. This is unacceptable. This is unbelievable. As a man, I'm appalled about this. I'm seriously appalled about this. How much of my said that you're sorry for females? For what? Sorry that you lost. Sorry that you lied on their oath. Crazy, man. I'm done with this video.